What's up guys, today I wanted to show you my gaming app that I use for all my um, inventory. It's called CLZ Games. You can download this on your app store. I don't know if they sell this for the Android version. I'm not sure, but this is obviously an iPhone. This is a really good app. Um, I highly recommend it if you're a collector. You can do so many different things with this. So basically, when you first go into it, it's just gonna do the complete alphabet. Now I can select here, um, title, year, index. You can also look at it in different directions. So you look and look at it, you know, this way or that way. If I hold it up and turn it, you could cycle through like this. If you click on a game, a lot of the games will actually have video clips, like see that? It links you to YouTube and a little description, which is nice. So we can search, we can go by platform, Dreamcast, GameCube, any systems that you have. Now I have not completely put every game that I own in here yet, but you can see my largest collection is PS2, PlayStation 3, not too far behind. And actually my Xbox, I know I didn't put in 360. Now if I were to click on one of these, here's PlayStation 1, it's the same thing. If I rotate it, it's going to show it to me this way. And this is just going to be PlayStation 1 games, right? And to add a game, you have a couple options. You do add by title, because if it's a loose cartridge, you can't scan it. Or you could do by add by barcode. Now we're gonna take we're gonna take this Halo game for instance. Right? Every game has a barcode right there. Sometimes it's in different locations, but that's what it is. So this has a scanner on it. I scan it. It's already been added to queue. So see, it knows that I've already have this game. And that's actually different. Before it would scan it and it would just come up red that you already own it. But that's another good thing. Let's say you're yard sailing or you're um, somewhere and you want to buy a game and you don't even remember what you have. So see, it's blue, it's highlighted. So I already know that I have it. So we're going to close that out. Platform, year, release, genre, whatever you want to do. But I seem to use, um, what I use the most is just platform. But right now it's showing I have 841. I know I have way over a thousand. I just, like I said, have not put them all in there. So we go under platform. But it's just nice, it's at your fingertips. It's uploaded to iCloud. You can, you can uh, download it if you got a new device, it backs it up. Uh, let's see what else. And really it takes a couple seconds to do each game as you saw. It, it doesn't take very long. There, there are other options out there, but to me I like the visual aspect of this. Here's my NES. Everything is an alphabet. Now what's also is nice about this is when you go to put them on your shelves, you know exactly what order to put them in because sometimes they're not in the order that you would think because you know if it's the something then you don't know if it's using the word the first or the actual letter of the first name. So sometimes it helps you to keep them in line and if they're in line here and then you go to your wall, you know where to look for them. Also, this is even good. You could just sit somewhere, let's say you didn't get home yet, and you could just sit you know, somewhere at work or if you're driving and just look through and say, ah, I think I'm gonna play that one tonight. And then you, you remember what you have because if they're loose and they're all over the place, 
it can get to be where you don't even remember what you own if you get a lot so that's just a quick thing that I wanted to share with you guys here's my PS4 let's see what we got here this focus thing is a pain in the ass I, I just really like this app I wanted to share it with you guys it's worth the money I honestly don't even remember how much it cost but if you use it all the time it's it's worth it, it doesn't really matter like I said year title and then if you just go by games See, it shows all of them. So now it's alphabetical, but every single, everything intermixed, which is kind of neat too. I find myself scrolling through here. It's amazing. Got a lot of games. But I don't have my N64 collection in here yet. Not completely. Because I'm showing only 21. Now I know I have over 100. So that's not even close. I don't have my Genesis in here. I don't have my full NES collection in here yet. I don't have my PC games in here yet. So I need to work on that. And that's a good fun thing to do at, at night or something. Turn some music on and uh, put them in your inventory. It's also good to know for insurance reasons or just anything in general to know where you stand and what you got. That's gonna do it guys, hope you enjoy this. If you have it already, you know how good it is. If you don't, consider picking it up. And um, till next time, see you around.